guys, Janet here with Radiant Wanderings. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. And as always, if you find anything in here helpful or useful, please give a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever the next video drops. So today we are just doing a walking slash driving tour of downtown Lakeside and Summers and Lower Valley. This is part of my bigger Montana Living Moving to Montana guide. So if you haven't already checked those videos out, definitely check that uh, Montana Living Moving to Montana playlist and go through those. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below for me. I would be happy to answer those. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we are heading south on 93 going into Lakeside. Flathead Lake there is on the left. They try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. Motel and RV parking on the right if you're visiting town. Gas station and convenience store. And any of the streets that go to the right, they'll stay level for a while and then they'll start climbing the mountains. And that's where I was talking about you can get those nice views over the lake and mountain from higher up. There's the post office. A little bit of shopping. So this church, and if you go right down that street there, is the elementary school for Lakeside. Set me up like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. And if you notice that blue sign we just passed up here is Blacktail Road. Just a little bit further and that's the road that you will take up to Blacktail Ski Area. Also Tamarack Restaurant that I had featured in the city guide is up here as well. The Homestead Restaurant. And then Blacktail Grocery. So we're going to cross the street now and head back north. And in this building on the right, there is a coffee shop. I believe they close pretty early too, similar to Big Fork. And then let's go check out Volunteer Park. those lake and mountain views that I spoke about. Love those. Several docks, the Pebble Beach. So what's interesting about Lakeside is uh, <laughs> in the summer it's just packed with people walking to this beach area and kayak and paddleboard rentals, but the downtown area is the least walkable of any of the other cities that I featured. They have some sidewalk, but cars go mm, 35 here along Highway 93. And you see they have the big trucks too. So it's kind of odd that they don't have more sidewalk space for pedestrians. And then coming up here on the right are some really nice condos. 
They have a really nice hot tub area overlooking the lake and the mountains. So if you're looking for a maintenance free life here on the lake, that might be a great option for you. Saloon, casino, lots of casinos in Montana. <laughs> And then up here on the right is Harbor Grill. That's that restaurant that I mentioned. That's right on the lake. They have a nice deck where you can sit out and look over the lake and the mountains as you eat. And we're back to where we started. Okay, so now we are taking a walk through Summers, this small little downtown. There's Summers Bay Cafe, which I had mentioned in the city guide, right there on the left. The hardware store. Straight ahead on the right is Dell's Bar and Cafe. And on the left here is the Rails to Trails bike path that I had mentioned. You can see the mountains back there. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my post office up here on the right. And the little church on the hill. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So we'll just head down this street so you can get a feel for some of the housing. So this shop, it looks like it's by appointment only, but I'm intrigued. And there are your mountain views again. So right down this way is your access to North Shore Beach, which I mentioned in the city guide, and a flathead lake is straight ahead and to the right. And 
let's just drive a little bit of lower valley so you can get a feel for that. Lots of wide open spaces and barns. Mountain views in the background. This is kind of weird. So I filmed this in spring, so there was a lot of water runoff still. But it's crazy how it comes on both sides of the road. You've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion. Like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Huge stacks of hay bales up here on the left. Some newer builds in the area. and some more of those deciduous trees that I talked about. Crossing the river right here. And I cannot believe that concludes our Montana Living Moving to Montana guide. We've gone through every city. We've done a guide for them and a walking tour of them. I may do one little bonus video next week. We'll see. But anyways, it's been a blast. I've had so much fun getting to know you guys and just getting your messages and contacting me through my website or my Instagram and all that. It's been wonderful. So you guys have an awesome week. Do hit that notification bell because I will continue to post Montana things. I might slip a couple travel things in there here and there, but definitely if I had a lot of requests to show what Montana is like in the winter. And so I'm definitely game to take you guys along when I snowshoe or ski or just uh, throughout the day. If that interests you, you should probably follow me on Instagram because I will do daily stories throughout the winter more. I will try to, to let you know kind of what it's like here that day, that temperature or whatever. So definitely uh, follow me on there too and I'll see you guys around.